There we go. We'll just head north across this little Perkins bridge here. The Ray's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. A tonic? What did it take to knock one of those over? No one to last. Alrighty, so we've got a downed tall neck and some lint hawks feeding on it. So, our normal way to deal with lint hawks is to have them deal with themselves. Oh, what's this? Glint hawks I caught. Apparently, there's scavengers here too. There's scrappers here. Alright, that should take care of everything. Never mind, I hear more scrap scrappers. That's the last of the scavengers. I should scan the tall neck, see how deep the damage goes. Scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get at what's inside its head. Well, this is certainly a different way of going about it. Looks like each of these sites is patrolled by yet more scrappers.
chose to bring them on over here one at a time with my little lure call. Looks like the part was just on one of the scrappers, so... I guess I don't need to kill that last one. Looks like this next piece is guarded by a Scorcher. I don't like the looks of that at all. Come on, dude. Jesus Christ! Come on! You've got fucking 20 goddamn ropes in you! Fucking goddamn it! Shit! Alright, looks like this next piece is guarded by a Scorcher. So these guys are a bitch and a half. They have more HP than God, and they hit like a goddamn truck. On the scale of monsters, I would rather fight than a Scorcher. We'll put on a pack of at least 12 Flinthawks. So our scan here shows that the body is weak to ice. So let's give that a shot.
I just jumped over all of my traps. Well, most of them. No, I got hit by them all. It got hit by all my traps and still only took half damp. Wow. Like I said. Jesus Christ. Run away, run away, run away. Like I said, more hit points than God. So I got him killed, finally. If you didn't see what I did there, I used uh, frost bombs to give him damage or uh, weakness. So after he was susceptible to damage, I ran him through 10 Yes, 10 blast wires to get him down to half health. The yeah, there's something not right there. It's heavy. Alright, so we've got two tall neck parts now. Uh, before we leave the second part here, let's go ahead and duck into the cave. Because there is a blue gleam uh, here. Oh, bullshit. Oh, there's some handholds here. Alright, let's go up. It had to be Glint Hawks. It really did. Oh shit, there was more ledge there. How much armor do you fucking have for me to knock off, alright? Really? Right underneath him. Really? Come on, Aloy! Fucking hit them! My god, Aloy! Oh, fucking Glint Hawks. But I'd rather have Glint Hawks than another fucking scrapper. Or scorcher. This tonic part's still in one piece. Huh. 
All right, so we've found all three parts. Now it's just to put them on. <sighs> Chill almost feels like sunburn. Well, that fits. Sure hope it works. It's in better shape than it was. Okay, I'm right. Just need to get the power flow through it again. And if I'm wrong, at least no one's watching. That <laughs> should wake you up. able to jump onto the tall neck from here. It's kind of silly if you ask me that I gotta put it together and then still I have to jump up and climb it. Now to climb up to his head. At least it's an easy climb once you get on it. And with that, we open up pretty much the entire Frozen Wilds map. Except for this little area over here. That must be the, uh, the end game. So yeah, there is quite a bit of stuff to find. Actually, at this point, I now have enough skill points to get the last skill since I leveled up there. And that gives me the trophy for all Frozen Wild skills. So with our Frost Figures Tall Neck completed, we are going to continue the Shaman's Path for a little bit to find Naltuk over here somewhere. That must be Naltuk looking out of bed. Naltuk? Who are you? 
How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. What can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. Corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Array went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. out my shield. How the fuck did I miss? There we go, that wasn't so hard. Well, that did not go as planned.
Now we know how to deal with the machines in the towers. The daemon's next. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I served the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Aurea at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. So right about this point on the the walk north, you've got Din's drum to the left, that merchants to the north, and over here to the east, we've got a campfire and a bunch of blue gleam. Come, we need cover. Alrighty, so after the campfire, we're just going to make our way up here and see if we can't find some blue gleam. Over here on the right are a few handholds. So let's see if we can go up. No. Over. Over. There we go, then up. was not the button I wanted. And up some more it looks like. Right at the very top. Let's find this blue game a better home. And over here to the left, we've got two, three, by the repel point, we've got number four.
So, the reason I couldn't find the fifth piece of blue gleam up on top of the mountain was because it's not. So, from your rappel point, head on down, and right here by the river, not too far away from your campfire, we've got our fifth piece of blue gleam.